my scrappy friends this is Hannah with you today and I am working on a shimmers layout I'm going to be using um, some of the sprays and some of the, the shimmers type pots um, I have an inklings and a creamies and then one of the just shimmers pots um, and I'm going to be using them all like watercolor so I also have in that little tin or like that pan <laughs> um, princess vibes and I have a colorings that is pink stiletto so I did use clear gesso on this before but I will say I did not go all the way to the edges and I really wish I did because when I originally first thought I was doing this I didn't realize that I would be going over the edge and then as I got thinking about it and this is usually how I work and roll as I just figure out how I want it to go as I'm going uh so yeah so I'm doing some like blobs of watercolor and then some like splatters amongst those and I'm going to be doing this with multiple colors so um yeah so I'm just kind of, and as you can see where the gesso really is, it's a lot um, more watercolory and it spreads out and that's really what I wanted. And it's much more concentrated up at the top where there is no gesso. So that is one thing to just think about, um, but it does take longer to dry. So after I do this, I'm gonna let it dry. And I used, um, I have a, uh, like a fine liner bottle that I have some acrylic paint with some uh, watercolor fluid medium and that just helps keep it fluid so that I can like draw with it and stuff and I'm gonna do that but I didn't show me doing it I think I must have forgot to hit record which I sometimes do so sorry about that so I'm you like I said I use freshly minted Iris My Case, Dandelion, and then Pink Stilettos and Princess. And the Iris My Case and Princess are like a purpley color. And then the Pink Stilettos is that pink, obviously. And then um, the Dandelion is like a yellow color. Sorry about my head. <laughs> I'm standing up. So I'm trying to get some colors on paper that are similar to the colors in the background. But I am going to kind of vary um, the the yellows and the purples and that kind of thing and the pinks and I really like that how that looks when I do that so yeah um because that pear was in the middle of the card I am gonna have to kind of fool around with this so that it looks like it's all the same and because it's a smaller photo it really doesn't matter and I don't think you really can see too much of it so it looks all the same and I just wanted a little bit of that yellow right around so I'm also using I'm using a ton of stuff just from like old click kits and stuff or stuff that I bought through click kits and then I have some like old other stuff that some people have given me or that I've bought and so this is really just a mishmash I was really looking for similar colors and I have some of um, <clears throat> crepe papers collection from like last June or something maybe I don't know when that came out and then some uh, Coco Vanilla Studios and some Pink Fresh Studio <laughs> and then some newer stuff <laughs> so this paper right here is from Pretty Little Studio from Claudia it's really fun so I'm gonna fussy cut them out I'm not gonna watch you make you watch me do it because it's kind of boring and I really hate fussy cutting so I do as little possible but it still takes me a long time so I'll pop in a show and I'll just fussy cut and see where we go but I really thought that those butterflies would work good this is a photo of some flowers that I took uh, when I was at the farmers market I picked up some flowers they were just so gorgeous and so that was my inspiration for um, my background and I did those like hash 
I want to say hashtag, but it's more like a grid. And I just stuck that at the top and the bottom. So when my paper kind of comes down a little bit, you'll see it. I will apologize that my paper isn't all in the whole time. Um, I moved my stand around a little bit. And so now, I don't know, I'm trying to re-get used to how it is now. It's one of the things about moving your stand that stinks. <laughs> is that you get used to it being in a certain place and then you forget that your layout's off. But you can pretty much see what I'm doing. So it's not a super big deal. But I did want to let you know that. <laughs> so yes. So now it's really I'm just trying to take all these colors and I'm trying to pick some purples and pinks and then also have some black and white in mixed in with it just so that that pops with a little bit of yellow i'm mostly going to use a lot of yellow with like the embellishments so which is a really fun way um if you have a photo like this that has lots of color it's really fun to kind of play with those colors with your pattern paper but also with all of your embellishments and kind of get them to um coordinate a little bit like I said, I definitely am using a lot of black and white and I'm going to put the sticker right on there. It's a clear acetate sticker, so it works really well. I mean, yeah, it covers up the photo, but I mean, I think it looks fun. So sometimes that's all that you need is to have fun. So I will say that um, this collection from Claudia and Pretty Little Studio is gorgeous, but the yellow is a little bit not so yellow in some of the like little pieces so I didn't end up using a lot of those they're really pretty though they're very watercolory so they would have worked really well if it was more of the yellow that I was looking for so I'm gonna stick with those thickers up at the top I used some of the yellow ones there and those are from one canoe two I believe that collection that just came out the golden rod it's so pretty i love golden rod too it reminds me of new york that smell in the springtime like june <laughs> anyway but there's this b clip so i'm gonna fit that in there too i'm gonna look through some embellishments and see um from all heart collection and see because I knew that there were some flowers and I do end up using some of these to just layer in the corner um they they're that photo reel type of embellishment so it's kind of different for me um, especially with some real flowers with the photo but it ended up working out really nice because I just used a touch of it I didn't let all of it hang out so I didn't use them all, just used a couple. And I'm gonna stick some uh, up at the top too, where that little journal circle wreath thing is. That it's really pretty, it's like a watercolored one. So I'm just gonna kinda play around and see what I like. And I think this is just the key to the layering is just kind of playing around with it and see how much you actually want to stick out and then when you go to tape it down remember exactly where you taped it because or where you put it in because I didn't do that and so that that pinky flower ends up sticking out a little bit differently but that's okay because it like I said it worked really well and once I added other stuff to that cluster it really you don't end up seeing that much of it and um, I'm going to use that clip down there and then I'm going to add some of the butterflies and these butterflies are so much fun. I wish I'd cut out a few more of the smaller ones, but I wasn't going to go back and do it. This is the thing with me. And I will say this, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you don't mind fussy cutting it out, go ahead and do it. But if you've already fussy cut stuff out and yeah, you might want it on your layout, but use what, like use something else. So I went 
and I quickly found these black and white hearts from Dear Lizzie that I had in my stash. I'm going to use those instead, and it's going to give this contrast too. So hearts and butterflies, you know, it all works. So it ended up working out really nice and really pretty. So I was very happy with how it turned out. It just was super fun, which it was supposed to be. So definitely head over to the Shimmer store and check out all of their new stuff. Every month now we have two color kits, the Missy Wooden color kit and then another one. And they're just so much fun. And I'm not sure if there's any more left, but I know that we had some of the Paige Evan new stencils that she designed. And I know the Shimmer store has some of those. So definitely head over there. And if you purchase anything, make sure you mention me and you can get a free gift. So I absolutely love the Shimmer store. I can get in big trouble over there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there's so many fun colors. And the color kits always has like a couple, one or two couple of colors that are exclusive to that kit that you can't just buy in the store, which is also really fun. I don't know if you guys are into all that exclusive stuff, but I love that. So here I'm just kind of layering. As you can see, you can't see that all the way over there at the end. And I did put a black and white sticker over there too. Um, I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly where I want that. And I'm going to move some of the stuff around once I get up to the top too. But sometimes that's, that's the one thing I like about the ATG glue is that usually you have a little bit of time before it completely adheres and you can't get stuff off. And when you use gesso, it's not going to stick off. So I thought about sticking that. That's a sticker. And I thought about sticking it up at the top, but it just, I just didn't like the way that it worked with the circle. It was like two circle. I don't know. Yet I put another circle flower, but it's smaller. So yeah, <laughs> sometimes, you know. It probably would have worked if I had tried to make it work, but I wanted just a little bit of that white. And it really, those blobs, as cute and cool as they look, they look much better when you have some stuff around it. And uh, so you just see hints and pieces of it. It's what I love about that mixed media is that you can really just play around with it and use it as your base of your cluster. So, and then it just, it pops even more. So now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put some more stuff. Trying to find some black and white elements. Basically, this, what I did to the bottom, I want to try to mirror a little bit up at the top, but not be completely the same. <clears throat> That's just how I like to do it. I mean, you could definitely find some of the same, very much um, similar things and kind of try to match it a little bit more. And that would also look really awesome. I mean, it's kind of just your preference, right? And sometimes you got to play around with it. And, and definitely the longer I've been doing mixed media, the more and more I become... Um, I feel like I understand it a little bit more and just really tailor it to how I want my layouts look and to make it more me. I mean, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I've been playing with mixed media and I go back and forth. Like I'll do a lot more pattern paper layouts and then I'll go back. I've been a lot more into doing mixed media lately. And I think it's just because I'm not in my room as much. And so when I get in here, I really want to get messy and just kind of, you know, that tactile and feeling. So see, I move that. I just, I play around with that. There is some glue there. That's the one nice thing about the ATG. It rolls off pretty easily. And then I decide, no, wait, I want a heart here first, which it ends up looking so much better with the heart here. It needed that. It needed that pop of yellow. And they're just kind of bring all those colors. But 
I'm going to play with it for a few minutes because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I want it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to cover the heart up because I want it to look like a heart, even though I'm all for just bits and pieces of it. But then I move it down a little bit and more towards the middle. And I really like that. You can see the heart so much better and you can still see that butterfly and you see just a touch of that, that white flower. And it just worked out so much nicely, nicer. And then that yellow flower looks really nice layered. And then this is where I, th I add a few Dear Lucy Puffy stickers with similar colors. I'm just adding a lot of, I'm really looking for little stuff at this point because I don't, I want to keep it nice and open and airy. <laughs> this is the key, right? The balance of having something nice and open and airy, but having enough stuff to make it feel like you've used your stuff ad adequately, right? I think I did a good job. Found another heart. This one's a little bit different. And then this is kind of where I'm thinking, okay, I don't really have a title. I might want to put a title. What do I want to use? Hey, there's this exhale. We're talking about flowers and breathing and the smell of them. So that's what I'm going to put. And I really like how I could bend it just a little bit around those butterflies. Well, I think there's a moth and a butterfly, but still, <clears throat> it doesn't have to, doesn't matter, does it? And then there's this yellow. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want this near the title? No, let's put it down here. I really like it down there. Kind of grounds things a little bit more. It makes it look like um, those other pieces aren't just quite hanging so much. I mean, it would have been fine, but it's kind of like a little shelf, right? And I think this is really just that point where I'm just adding stuff and you could definitely stop here. <laughs> it's like a Chamel moment where she just keeps adding. <laughs> but I promise I am almost done. And I'm going to end up adding my journaling after. I just did a little blurb down in the bottom in one of the open spaces. Um... You do have to remember when you're journaling on gesso to use a pen that is going to work. So I've thought about using more of uh, these because there is a lot of colorful colors, <laughs> but I ended up only using the hearts and I just used a couple, but I was okay with that. And I was thinking about using more of the pinks, but I just felt like it didn't work so well with it. So I don't know. I didn't use that many. I used more of the black and white ones, and it and it worked out fine. It needed that anyway, right? I just didn't want to distract and have too many different pink colors because that exhale is is a pink, but it had a little yellow in it, and then the yellow and this and the yellow on my paper isn't quite the same, so I didn't want to overdo it. And here's the end. So here's some close-ups, and I hope that you guys uh, check out the Shimmer Store and look at all their amazing bright colors. They have so many amazing colors for, for the summer. So I'll see you guys later, and have a great day.